Xavier Simpson made it official. He will be a Michigan Wolverine signing his letter of intent at Lima Senior. Spartan surprised many back in September when he verbally committed to John Beeline's program. Since then, he's connected with his fellow future Wolverines, including a pair of Ohioans, E.B. Watson and John Teske. Me and the other recruits are, are pretty close. We have a pretty good relationship, especially with E.B. Watson. We played with each other um, last year at, uh, I mean, a couple years ago with AAU, so it's been good. Me and him has been continuing to, to develop a relationship. We're steady talking, steady uh, texting and calling each other, so it's always good to just have a have someone I know there going with me in the same grade. Yes, it is a special class. I, I visited, uh, took my official visit with A.B. Watson, John Teske, and Austin Davis. We were, all, we were all in there doing all the same activities the, the whole time from like 9 in the morning to, to when we got back into the hotel room. So, I mean, the, the relationship we are developing among us for is definitely definitely getting stronger, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy to say I'm committed with those three guys and see, um, see how it goes our first year at Michigan. And with signed paperwork, there's also been a change in wardrobe the last few months. We didn't own any Michigan shirts actually at all. How many you got now? We have a lot now. We, we're trying to get geared up from uh, head to toe. Just trying to wear blue and yellow. Go blue. I keep seeing your dad in Michigan shirt yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, he, yeah, he does. He, he actually is doing a lot of Michigan stuff. Rocking, yeah. rocking out of that yellow and blue. So that's good. I'm trying to step up my Michigan gear as well. X feels like his legs are stronger this year and he has grown an inch or two. As the big day has been a long time coming for the reigning Division I Player of the Year. I'm not even sure. Well, the, the dream may have started uh, my freshman year, but before that, I was just I was just working out, thinking this would any other athlete does, just working out uh, maybe two or three times a day, just different routines to develop my game. But I mean, the dream I probably started started developing, thinking like what college or Division One college I would like to go to, probably about my freshman year. But before that, I was just doing it, just doing it. As Nike say, just do it. Also at Lima Senior, Rian Thompson signed her letter of intent to Bowling Green State University. She enters her senior year for the Spartans, needing a little over 400 points to become the school's all-time leading scorer. She addressed the crowd. Her emotions got the better of her as she thanked God and her parents. I just was thinking about everything as far as everything that my mom and dad has done for me, um, supporting me on and off the court, being there during the stressful times, and just being the best parents they can be. And that just, that's the emotion that took over me because this was for them. Thompson, a prospective business major, liked BG's coaches, academics, and facilities. Just the coaches in general. Um, I love the atmosphere that I got when I went there, and the coaches, they built a great relationship with me, so that's pretty much an attraction. Matt Finkel has more on National Signing Day. Thanks, Mark. At Lima Central Catholic, Dantez Walton inked his letter of intent to play basketball at Northern Kentucky. Dantes has scored 728 points in his high school career and averaged 15.8 as a junior for the state runner-up T-Birds. After receiving offers from Toledo, Robert Morris, and Albany, Walton felt most at home at Northern Kentucky, especially with fellow Lima native Tyler White already on the Norse roster. It was a decision because I seen uh, Tyler there. I watched a couple games on TV. I liked their style of play. And then I heard the new coaching staff coming in. And I researched him, and he uh, enjoyed my game, so as soon as we made that eye contact, we knew it was real. First time he's ever been speechless. It meant a lot, uh, especially seeing the room full of uh, a lot of the student body and friends and family here, so it was great to see all these people that came. The large turnout speaks volumes about Dantes' character, and he's humbled by those who helped him reach this goal. I would like to thank all my family, all the kids around that pushed me, uh, from my brother, dad, uh, and all my friends that I hang around. Actually, I'm just excited to get it over with and ready to move on to the next stage in life. Over in Delphus, Veterans Day, a very memorable day for Jefferson's Trey Smith and his family as the senior signed his letter of intent to play basketball at Air Force. Smith is two times all Ohio, has scored the most points in school history with 1,448, and he's the second player in school history to earn a Division I basketball scholarship. Trey also boasts a 4.0 GPA and is ranked first in his class. His work ethic, both on and off the court, helped him achieve a lifelong dream. It's been a lot of sacrifice, a lot of, a lot of weekends spent in the gym when normal kid would be out um, with friends. It's definitely a relief to know that what you've been doing your whole life is what you were supposed to be doing and has finally paid off. We, we were a little bit skeptical at the beginning because, you know, it was a military academy and your, your first thought as a high school student or a high school player is, well, is the military really where I want to be? 
but once we set foot on campus that first time, it we, we pretty much knew that it was the perfect fit going to a military academy and being able to sign on Veterans Day. That That's not something that happens very often, so it's definitely a little bit of an added an added bonus. Today is made even more special for Trey by getting to share the moment with his dad. I can't even put it in words, you know. We've been in the gym since I was three years old, and he was... I was just crawling around over on the gym floor when he was an assistant coach at a high school down in Tennessee before we moved up here. Basically my entire life was spent in the gym with him and it, it just means so much to be able to share this day with him. Congratulations to all the area athletes signing today on National Signing Day. I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.